In this lesson, we're going to look at how to add and delete data to a chart. When you first start working with charts, you're usually shown how to select the data first, then run the chart wizard, and then progress through the chart wizard, making the selections as you go along. At this stage, people would normally say, see, it's picked up all your data, and then move on. They might even say, always check to see whether your data would be better in rows or columns. What people usually gloss over is this series tab. Because this actually shows you where your data is. I'm not going to describe it here. I'm actually going to cancel this and show you um, how to set it up from scratch. So now without any data selected, I'm going to run the chart wizard again. Choose your chart type and then progress through the wizard to the next stage. You can see this time it hasn't picked up any data. Now I could collapse the dialog and select my data like that. But I'm not going to, just delete that. I'm going to show you a more controlled way. Rather than working on the data range, I want to add the series individually. So I'll click on the series tab. Again, there's nothing there at the moment. I need to add a series of data. This can look a little bit complicated, but it's not really. It's fairly straightforward. As long as you understand what the sort of separate parts of a chart are, really. The first part is the series are the data that you are plotting. So we've added one series, but there's nothing in it yet. It's put a default value here, but we haven't actually added anything ourselves. So basically, we're going to populate these three boxes. The first box is the name of the data series. Currently, without anything in this box, this particular data series is called Series 1. And it's picking it up in the legend there as well. So what is the name? Of the series of data. If we collapse down, the data I want to plot is the number of houses sold. So the name of the series is the number of houses sold, B1. So I've clicked on there and you can see it's put equals the name of the worksheet that we're on, charts, and then the cell reference, B1. We'll expand that back up now. And we can now see this picked up the name of the series, the number of houses sold, number of houses sold, and it's put that cell reference inside um, this dialog box. I could just type that in. You don't have to collapse it down. You could just type that in. OK, we've got the name of the series. The next step is the values. Where are the actual values? Now, it's clearly not that. Let's get rid of that. Collapse down the dialog. The series are the numbers that you actually want to plot. So for us, it's B2 to B13. B2 to B13. Let's put that data in there. And we can now expand that up. And we can see the preview window. It's now picked up that data. Have a look there. We've put that in the values. We could just type that in, but we use the collapse and then click and drag. So we've got the name for the data. We've got the actual data in the series. Now, the X category. The X category is the axis that goes across, across. That's how I remember it. The X axis is a cross. So it goes across the page. Without anything in this uh, area, it gives us the categories just one, two, three, four, five. We don't want that. We've got some labels for it. So let's find the labels. Collapse down. Here are the labels, week 1 to 12. So we just select those cells, expand back up again. And it's now using the information in those cells to populate the chart x-axis. So we've had one set of data. Let's add another. We click Add. Where's the name of the data? So we collapse down. 
And I'm going to show you, I could just use this data here, but I'm going to show you one of the reasons why you would use this process rather than just selecting it in the first place. I've got some different data on a different worksheet. It's actually on chart two. So I want to use this data now. So I can select that cell and it's put in the name of the worksheet and the cell reference in there. So this is allowing me to pick up data from more than one area of the worksheet, which tells you when you build a chart, all the data doesn't have to be side by side. It can come from anywhere in your workbook. So there's the name. Values next, where are the values? Make sure you're on the right worksheet. Select your values. Expand up. Um, keep your things simple. We only have one x-axis. It's not strictly true, but it's good enough for us at the moment. So we can't put a separate x-axis for this series. So it'll still be week 1 to 12, which is fine because of the way the type of data that we're plotting. Once you've added your series, just progress through the wizard, adding your titles and grid lines, etc. And then finally finish. And there is your chart. With two data series in it. But those data series have come from different worksheets. Now, I started that using the chart wizard. And if you want to make modifications, again, we can make sure you've got the chart selected and run the chart wizard again. Progress through until we get to the series tab. And then we can make mo modifications here. For example, if you want to remove one of the series, we can select it, click on remove, and then finish the wizard. And then that chart series has been deleted from the chart. Or we can use the chart menu and down to data source. And that takes us straight to that segment of the chart wizard where we can add in or remove more series. So let's try adding in again. Select the titles. Select the data. And finish. And that series has been added back in to our data series. Finally, you can right click on a chart and select the data from there as well. That's adding and deleting or removing data series from a chart.